Hi, this video will show some of the new features in Qt Creator 3.3. Loading of big projects is now faster and does not block the user interface as much as previous versions of Qt Creator did. This has been achieved by moving much of the loading from the GUI thread into separate threads. Documents can now be dragged between splits and editor windows. And from navigation views to splits or windows. The Qt Quick Designer has support for the Tab View Qt Quick Control. Users of the professional or enterprise version can now manage tabs directly in the form editor. This release introduces the file extension UIQML. Forms with that extension are QML files, which are meant to be edited with a professional or enterprise version of the Qt Quick Designer. Other code can be placed inside the implementation files of the forms. This ensures that a very complex UIQML file can at any time later be edited in the Qt Quick Designer. The QML Profiler now offers the possibility to select which types of events to record, which can reduce profiling overhead. Categories can be reordered. Annotations can be created, which are stored with the QML trace for exchange with other developers. The professional and enterprise versions allow profiling of memory usage and of the scene graph. Qt Creator now supports theming of the user interface. The dark theme comes with Qt Creator. Custom themes can be added. The theming feature is a contribution by members of the Qt community. High DPI support in Qt was so far a speciality on OS X and iOS. Qt 5.4 now adds experimental high DPI support for Windows and Linux. To honor that, Qt Creator improves its appearance on high DPI screens and looks more crisp than ever. Wizards are now implemented with a new wizard engine. Custom wizards can be added by anyone with a new, simple but powerful JSON-based description. We hope you like the new Qt Creator. Thank you for watching.